Hey everyone, King Size Customs. You got a little sneak preview of what's going to be coming up in this video today. But uh, first things first, you can see my bed's kind of made. If my voice sounds funny and like I'm really forcing it, I kind of am. I have to cough, but I know that's not pleasing to you guys on the camera. Um, my audio was a little messed up because I had my hand over my phone. Uh, I'll keep slightly teasing this, but anyway... Yep, what happened to his arm? Yeah, it's the first time you're seeing me wear sleeves in a long time. Uh, I usually do last in long sleeve shirts pretty pretty much into spring because I get cold easily and I don't like the cold. It bothers me. But here's today's single car review. This was when I first one my uh this was one of my first eBay purchases. And the package is a little messed up. It's about a year old from when I bought it. So we're going to cut it open. Off camera, of course. Got the handy dandy $5 uh, Big Lots knife here with new blades. So I'm going to cut it off camera away from myself, of course. And I'm going to open up the package. And then I'll give you a little story about it. And see what my thoughts are. Now this is going to be a clean, uh, you know, unedited review. I have not, as you can tell, car has never been out of the package. I have not touched this car. I have not played with this car. Nothing. It's just been sitting in my collection in its package like this for about a year, maybe a little bit over a year. So, it's a Racing Champions as well. I thought it was a Ford, but on the back it's saying it's a Chevy official. So, I don't know. Um... I'm going to just cut it open and see what we get. All right, later. Well, that was brutal trying to open it. <clears throat> Didn't take that long. But it just, plastic went everywhere. This is a Racing Champions casting. And what I'm trying to do is find a copyright date here. Made in China. All right. I know I'm shaking 1999 Glen Everland, Illinois. All right, so 1999, a year I remember fairly well. It's a racing champions casting, so I was told by a lot of people out in the community, be careful. Uh, some of them, the rubber tires, like to stick to the base. This has a weird, like, diorama-esque base, so... Not really too bad. This is a cool one. Oh. Found some stuff I didn't know this truck had. It is a Ford. It's an F-350. Reminds me a lot of Ertl type castings. It's a true dually. There's the production number. Don't really pay too much attention to that. What I find is cool though is... Opening tailgate. You don't get that on a lot of 164 scale these years. I guess because it's expensive. This I knew opened and it was open when I got it out of the case. Now trying to open a hood, the truck hood. Trying to open the hood on this truck, were the words I'm looking for, is kind of difficult to do one-handed. I will pause the camera right now and come back. Very nice opening hood. I'm pretty sure this is a diesel truck. Now I'm sure you uh, diesel aficionados can tell from that engine. Really nice engine bay detail. You got all the chrome. Um, yeah, again, I'm pretty sure that's a diesel engine. Hood shuts nicely. Not too tight. Um... I'm sure you guys could have probably seen that even the windshield wiper detail is correct to the silver arms and the black blades. Um, you know, I... Oh! The interior detail. You got a separate piece steering wheel. You got green seats. Not a huge fan of that myself, but it's a die-cast toy commemorating a magazine. Um, pretty nice truck. What I should do is get something to compare it to. I'll do that right now. So we have a Tomica Limited Vintage Honda 
uh, EK9 from about 2000. The reason I use that guy is it was readily available and it's actually true 164 scale. First car I bought from at the toy pimp on Instagram. Um, really nice car. Really well detailed. Now, judging by the truck compared to this car, I'd say it's a little small, maybe 160, mm, about 165th to 167th scale. Still, for a farm truck, for a toy truck, it's great. I mean, it's an adult collectible, of course, but keep in mind, copyright date of 1999, so the truck's probably uh, was casted in 1990, 1998. Sorry about the shaking, guys. Again, need the camera tripod. Anybody out there wants to send your man, uh, King Size Customs, a I uh, iPhone 8 Plus camera tripod, uh, we, you know, just let me know and I'll shoot you my address. In the meantime, I plan on buying one anyway, so that way my videos become better. But as you can see, pretty, pretty well done. Um, you know, maybe it's just the way my bed's made that it's throwing off the dimensions. I actually have a desk behind me, so I'll pull out the drawer and we'll stick it on there and see how it compares size-wise. All right. Okay, right off the bat, I'm noticing a bit of a difference here with the size. Um, so yeah, it's probably closer to 164th than I thought. Good size truck. Detail, Okay. Now, what I failed to do in my last review was I failed to give the truck a score or the vehicle a score of how I would rate it. So, being that it's an 80s Ford and I don't see a lot of them, well, 80s, early 90s style, and the fact that you even have the logo detailed to the point where you can actually read Ford legibly, you've got a flip down tailgate which you don't get on trucks these days and yeah it's not perfect but it's not bad opening hood with detailed engine which you don't get on the truck these days from most manufacturers i can't really speak to the green lights because i haven't opened up a lot of my green lights and some of those will probably get cracked i'm going to give this truck a nine out of ten now at the time Probably wouldn't have gotten that high, and I'll tell you why. Due to uh, the price I paid for it, if I can accurately remember, I think with shipping included, I paid about $7, which is right around Auto World territory. Now, of course, I have paid more for cars. The Atomica Limited Vintage was a, little, was a lot more than that. Don't tell my mom. But anyway... Um, so I'll give this truck about a 9 out of 10. You know, 10 out of 10 for me would be, and this was really super rare at the time, and I understand that, but it would be having lensed headlights, taillights, and maybe some opening doors. The execution on the opening features, which I know a lot of people don't like, opening features on their cars, in this scale at least, the execution is flawless. You can, you can barely tell, really. This is on a two times magnification. But the further you get away, you can barely tell that the hood opens. And then, this tailgate, you really can't tell at all. So, and also, too, I know, as I said earlier, it's a racing champs. A lot of people are afraid to buy racing champions because of how cheap the metal was. You know, you drop them on the floor and you got a thousand pieces. I don't really want to drop this truck, but I will in a later video. If you guys say, drop that truck in this video, I'll drop it on the floor and see what happens. I have a broom in the dustpan right away. <laughs> Easy, you know. I'll have a broom in the dustpan right away just so I can scrap up all the metal that comes from this truck. But I don't think so because it feels like a pretty solid truck. All right, guys. Hope you liked this. No, it was a long. I know it was a long video. I had to go edit all of it together. So, I'll see you in the next one.